So these first few holes are pretty easy and we did that on purpose just so that new people can kind of get a feel for how the controls work. And we get it through the castle, around the back, up and over. Now on hole three you do have the option to go up those stairs there um, but there is holes up there so you could lose some time. So on this one, I decided to take the long route. Now we're on to the half pipe. And now to the tire maze. Now this hole was supposed to be like an airport, but I just couldn't figure it out. And onto the mini golf course inside of a mini golf course. And here I forgot to hit the flag, so I had to go back. And now this one, you want to take the ramp to the right. It's the shortest path to the flag. And now we'll take you through the back half of the course up to the rocket bridge. This one requires a little bit of finesse to get through. And onto the rocky road. You've got to shake your way through. and onto the ice maze. And at this point, you're about six feet away from the ball, so it's kind of hard to tell where it's going and if you made it to the right clearing or not. Then we go through Santa's Village. I was running out of Legos when I made this hole, and I happen to have a Santa set, so that's where this came from. And onto the double wheel, which this hole can be either really easy or really hard, just depending on where the wheels are at when you get there. Then we go up and through the golf cart. And since we only have one hole left, it gotta take the ball through the car wash. Now we're on to the final hole. You go down Money Road. Make the treacherous climb up the stairs. And now you gotta break through this door. And finally, sink the ball in the hole. And if you wanna see how we put the course together, make sure you check out that behind the scenes video.